Welcome my lords to the Edain mod 4.7 which is just like Age of the Ring, a mod based on the BFME 2 The Rise of the Witch King, but the playstyle is completely different. You have the chance to choose between Gondor, Rohan, Lothlorien, Imladris, Dwarves, Isengard, Mordor, Misty Mountains and Engmar. We're gonna start with the Gondor faction which is by the way my favorite faction in BFME 1 and against random on the map Dan Harrow, okay? And, you know, I'm just not good in BFME 2 or in Rise of the Witch King, so... Uh, and I have no clue about this mod yet. But we will get good. We will get better. This is actually looking amazing, though. Holy! Okay, so let's build the Tan, tan House. Um, or Blacksmith. Let's go Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Maybe we can go for the Hobbit. Let's go for the Hobbit. Prepare for battle. Okay. So this is the Gondor Beast, and that's why you need to love it I'm not because it combines PFME 1 and PFME 2 into one single game with lots of new animations. We have the Gondorian architecture, which is like a repair, and the second one is going to be Horn of Gondor. The sound of the Horn of Gondor weakens the courage of the troops of the White City, giving them more damage and resistance to fear. You are soldiers of Gondor. You don't fear anybody. I'm going for the farm actually. Okay. Come on, Fairy Green took. You flow for took. This is going to be Y. Okay. Alvin Cloak. And he has plenty of abilities. Curiosity of the Fool. Pippin's sight range increases by 100% for 20 seconds. Near nearby invisible units will be revealed and he gains more speed. Guardian of the Citadel. Basically, he will become a Guardian of the Citadel. He immediately reaches level 5. If below that level, and gains additionally 1000 hit points, so he's gonna become more tanky. And the Dagger of the Noldor, Pippin uses his Dagger of the Noldor. Hey, leave me alone, man, who is this? What are these units? Wait a second. Okay, Ruda or Pikeman, you have no chance against me, Pikeman. I wanna read this. A Gift of Galadriel. Hold on, we are cash floating a bit. Let's go for more structures. And I'm, I want to actually build archer range, I believe. That's going to be very important, so we can deal with the spam of the units. But remember, the good factions have the chance, just like in BFME 1, to close the gate and hope for the best, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty good. I want to go for the marketplace too later on. And our money is not looking too hot yet, but we will change this. Okay. Dealing heavy damage to everybody he hits on the way, and dealing double damage if he hits enemies from behind. So that's, a, that's like very advanced uh, powers for a full of a took like Peregrine took. The Horn of Gondor. Can we creep this? He's able to trample me? Ah, easy creeping. He's not as hard as in BFME 1, is it? We need more. So I want to go for the Blacksmith as soon as possible. And you start, with the, you start the game with less command points, but in this mod... You can actually increase your command points by purchasing this one. The expanded storerooms, which will give you 200 command points, and you can do it five times. So you can get up to 1,000 in total. Go for it. Why is it thank you, man? It's so tanky, holy! The enemy! The enemy! You are my enemy! This work is hungry. I mean, the creep was way, way harder than I was expecting it to be. I want to get the outpost here, if I can. Peeping at level 2, amazing. Now we have the chance to build the outpost, or we can go for the border stronghold. Trains the units and heroes of Dol Amroth. I believe we need to go for the outpost for now. And there is another outpost. Here we can maybe build the secondary thing, okay? We are against hard difficulty, by the way. Um, against AI. I'm not feeling confident yet to go against Brutal. But maybe if I get better, okay? So, trains and upgrades archers and hero recruitment Faramir. So, you can't recruit every hero from the Citadel. You need to build some buildings to recruit them. I want to go actually for the, for the archery range. Yeah. And in base here, we will build more of these blacksmiths. We have three, five. Now we will have six. 
And now we can go for this one, the Thorn House. Oh, what is... He did something. Oh my god, he's coming in. Can I not close the gate? The bombs are under attack. Hold on a second. Go, 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 peeping. Hey man, gate rushing me. It's not cool, man. It's not cool, bro. Don't do this to me. My Tita is not shooting. What is this? Okay, we can upgrade it to level 2. Go, go, go. Do I really need to build... I mean, can you not go inside the jeans, boys? That is a post on game, man. Come on now. Okay, nice. Pippin should be able to deal with this, I hope. And we need to deal with these units. Very important. Um, the thing is, we can put those Anorian arches inside this tower, if I'm not mistaken. Which will give us some sort of protection. We can also put them inside this tower. Do I need to use the Horn of Gondor? No, I don't need to. I think I'm going to use it. He's using some shenanigans on me. Is that's the one thing I dislike the, the, about the AI of the Beef Meter and Rise of Twitch King the most? The fact that they are actually just hard focusing. Pippin, come on. My structures, you know? Oh my god, he destroyed it. They're yeah, still ignoring it. Put him inside here. Go. Maybe put the other one inside of this one. Okay, now we're gonna go for the for the marketplace. Okay, and do, what? How can I get rid out of this? You know, I don't even know what this does, boys. You know. Okay, finally, finally, you chill for for a bit, but now we close the gate. Now you can't just go inside whenever you want to. Oh boy, here they come. What is this? What are those? Oh my God, they are slaughtering my archers. Holy. Um, okay, not good. Shoot them! Pippin, come. What is this? Obelisk. Hard obelisk. Looks like a very hard thing, to be honest with you. I think we're gonna lose this game, boys. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be losing this game. Let's build a statue here. Marketplace, we got it. Let's go for this one, for level 2. I think we're going to be losing this game, boys. I'm so poor, actually. Holy moly. I'm, I don't know why I'm so poor, actually, you know? So quiet. My, my Pippin is not weak, though. How did they die? There are two wolves. Okay, nice. Let's put him next to the statue. Okay, we're dealing with this, right? Beautiful. Okay. So now we will have two archers here defending. No problemo. My Pippin is dealing with this one, and he left the money on the ground. What a nice guy. And this wolf, Draculin, is so difficult to kill by, by the Hobbit. But luckily, he's dealing, like, zero damage to my structure. So, I take it. Okay, beautiful. So, now, what we want to get is this one to level 2. That will give us overall more money. That's always nice. Because the structures won't level up automatically to level 2 by themselves. Over time, you need to invest money into this. But that means even later on when you build a structure, it will always be level 2 or level 3 right off the bat, okay? Oh, here they come, boys. Get the money. So Pippin, come on. Come on, Pippin. I can use this one, right? I can use this one. So he will get level... It costs 500. I'm not going to invest into this, bro. These orcs are slaughtering us. Horn of Gondor, do it. Oh, now here they come, boys. Here they come, boys. We need a hero. Is it worth it to go for this guy? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for the... Mm. <laughs> Maybe loan... Nah, I need this one anyway, right? Okay, I'm gonna go for the architecture. Soldier, come on. Move, soldier. Move. These extroverts are hurting us a lot. They are level 5 too for whatever reason. Okay, we have 2,000. Let's go for this one first. The level... In the castles to level 3. Okay. That's going to give us some money. That's good. And can I recruit some rangers from this one? I can actually. 
for 600. Hold, I can't. Why can't I? Ranger tank level 3. Oh my god, it's gonna take a long time to do this. Let's get some more archers for the defense for a bit. This, the towers are actually very tanky. That's, that's kind of favoring me a little bit. I'm happy about this one. But the second my level, my distractions will get level 3. That's going to be quite decent for me. And now what I can do is I can go for the lone tower and summon it. So I have like the tower of doom, like the triangle. You know what I'm saying? I give anything for a whiffable, Toby. Oh boy. There are so many of them. I'm going to summon the tower here. What happened? Why can I not summon the tower? What the heck? Anyway, you need to I need to right click just like what that's not my structure. Hold on a second. Thank you. Come on, bro. Anyway, you need people of intelligence on this sort of mission. Quest. Thank you. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Hold on. I can't, boys. I really can't. I'm clicking now. It's finally coming up. Put them inside, inside the tower. That's good. Some more defense. Now we have good protection here. Beautiful. I mean, this thing is still there, by the way. It's lasting forever or what? What is? What does this do? Increase the resource production of all farms by 30%. That's pretty good. I need this one too, actually. You know, the Grand Harvest. I think it's very important because we are still kind of broke and poor. Pretty much all the time. But now we have double... Uh, I mean, triple tower here. This one is going to hit level 2. The only thing I, I dislike about this mod... I mean, that's my personal opinion. is It's kind of very slow piece gameplay. So you basically go for this. It kind of feels like it needs like 5 minutes to reload this upgrade. You know? Which kind of drags the game in a very long way. What, what, what does this do actually? Not sure what this does. Doesn't really tell me. And here, maybe we can go for... Hmm... First of all, I want to go for the for the, for the the heroes. And I want to start from the most expensive one. It's going to be Gandalf. Powerpoint-wise, we have the chance to pick him later on and turn him into the white. He will get more bonus damage on his, on his spells. And also 25% recharge timer on his abilities and 1000 health. So it's a very good investment, definitely. There's a hero coming, boys, a necromancer. Pippin, do your thing. Well, we killed him it's in, a, in a second. I don't want to really invest 500 into Pippin, you know what I'm saying? That kind of feels wrong. Level 3, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. So now, this one is going to be turning level 2. I mean, it's so slow. I don't know if, he, if it's worth it to build multiple blacksmiths or marketplace to actually kind of speed up the progress a bit. But it's, it's kind of very slow, the way it's progressing. But what just happened there? Drauglin. But the towers are actually very tanky. Holy, they don't do any damage to my towers. <laughs> okay. And this one also was tanky. Because maybe we don't have archers. I don't know what this does. But it's kind of expensive. Now, but if we have money, that's good. That's okay. Now go for this level 3. And I let's go for everything. We have we just invest into this because it will take you three minutes to I mean three hours to get the stuff anyway. Now we can go for Faramir first. Ah uh, wait, we forgot about the storerooms. So by this with this one you can actually extend your storerooms to get more command points. We can also do this simultaneously from the outposts here too. That's pretty good. Hold on, what is this kind of thing? What are they doing in front of my base? Do I need to build a tower? I'm gonna build it. Also, the tower needs time to build up. Okay. Now, that's how it is. Alright, alright, alright. They're kind of broke. I'm, I wanna creep this. I think there's a creep, so I can get one more settlement. I'm pretty sure that my opponent is controlling the right side of the map, but it's okay, we will reclaim this very, very soon. And here, hmm. Let's go for the, for the barracks, maybe. Anything for a whiffable Toby. There are works here. What 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 are these? What can they do? 
Are they siege weapons or what are they doing in front of my gate? Are they trying to say hello to me? Be on your guard, men. Oh, put on the swords. Keep in. These wargs are actually hungry, man, and angry. They don't die that quickly. But now we have the money for Faramir, the captain of Gondor. And from this structure, we can recruit his uh, brother Boromir and Beregond. So we have like plenty of heroes, as you can see and tell. And here we can build... Um, I go for farm, actually, to get just more money, so we can get all the stuff done we want. The Grand Harvest has come. Let's go for the for the soldiers, or for the pikemen, rather, because I believe creeping this is so difficult. My pippin might even die here. The lair is so tanky. My pippin might die to the creep there, by the way. I think he's gonna die. He's level 8, though. Ah, uh, Peregrine Took has fallen. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with what's happening in, in front of my gate and the shenanigans happening in my castle. You know, that's something I'm not very used to. So I'm going to invest some of the money into the towers just to feel a bit more safe. And maybe don't shoot the structure there, you know? Why would you do this? <clears throat> okay. Can Farami creep this now? That's the big question. Farami, go, 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 go. Now we have the Grand Harvest, as you can see. We are gonna be growing so rich here. Oh my god. It's going to be amazing. Oh, they destroyed my farm finally, but it's okay. I think it's too late, boys. Now I'm on the rolling machine. Now you can't stop me anymore. I have all the heroes. This creep is so difficult. Faramir strives after his father's appreciation and with all his strength, he fights to earn some fame. For a short, per short period, he attacks with increased determination and gains more armor and re receives double experience for every defeated enemy. In his ranger form, he attacks with a sword for the duration of the ability. But how can I turn him into a ranger? Not sure, but we need to creep this one first, very important. Now we have money, we have cash, that's good. And it looks like you can also garrison these towers, by the way. Now we can summon even more towers, just why not? I mean, this is going to be untakeable. He needs like lots of siege weapons to even think about destroying this. Now we can go for the for the Baragond and for Boromir. And after this... Oh my god, now he has siege weapons. Okay, I call it. I call it. Go Knight, go knight of Gondor, please. Let's go for soldiers. Maybe we can go for the rangers. Oh, that goes down the tower, boys. That goes down to the tower. Paramir, can you, are you coming? Nice, he's coming. You get the money, my friend. And move. I just call it, you know. Now the siege is hurting different. Now we can go for the rangers. Yeah, true. Let's go for double battalion. And we have now triple heroes up on the field. Paramir should be able to destroy this, but he was able to destroy the tower before this, unfortunately. Um, I'm not scared about this, what's coming. I think that should be okay, quite easy to be dealt with. What is this? Hmm. That's very interesting, too. Okay, now we have three heroes. One of them being Beregond. And Beregond is, you know, a captain of Gondor, guardians of the third company. Beregond calls a few of his brothers in arms to defend an allied building. Six Aryans of the Citadel will defend the target allied building for a short period of time and fight back all the introduced intruders. Intruders, I can't even talk. Then we have to hold ground. Fallen members of allied troops nearby. A selected building will be regenerated for 30 seconds. Vindicator of the White City. Oh, all nearby allied buildings become invulnerable. There's like a building hero kind of thing, right? He's just like caring about the buildings, it seems like. Okay, now we have rangers, that's good. And we have some archers, we can place them maybe right here. I don't want to put them into the smoke, maybe they're poisoned there. Talking about poison, I think my heroes are taking way too heavy damage. We need to retreat. What does this do, actually? Okay, we should... Oh my god, my heroes, my heroes, my heroes. Do I have heal from the spellbook, though? Let me take a look into this. Assistance in times of need. 
the fifth tombs have, came, have come to defend the white city. A selected signal fire will now summon reinforcements that are already equipped with heavy armor and forge blades or fire arrows. But we don't need this. What we need is to turn the gray into the white. Um, now we don't need this structure anymore. I think we can demolish this. As long as we don't lose our heroes, we should be fine. I, wanna, I need a well here, though. Oh my god, there's a huge army and a half, boys. Does he have horn? No, he doesn't have horn. Do we have no heal from the spellbook? It looks like we don't have a heal from the spellbook in this one. No, 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 Boromir, don't die, just like in the films, boys. You go you go fight, Boromir, you retreat. Everybody is just taking care of Boromir, I mean. Now the AI is going ham on me. And I put him inside the tower. It's Citadel. I can't. Oh my god, something is happening over here. There is a hero, I believe. Did I lose my heroes? No, I didn't. Okay, Boromir, you just chill there for a bit. Oh my god, there is... I need to destroy this as soon as possible. Oh boy, that's not fun. Something is cooking there. Let's destroy this catapult, please. It's a tanky too. Retreat. You go in there, you go, you fight this. Okay. Nice. Now we go back here. A little bit. I want to build a tower and even another tower. I know he's bringing siege weapons all the time, but that's just how it is. I need to do this. And I need like to be level 3 for the Horn of Gondor. Proven value, do stuff with it. Prove your quality. We need more rangers, boys. Okay, nice. Farami has shown his quality, that's good. It's very good actually. I mean, I wanted to go for what is this happening there? I don't know. I wanted um, to go for Ganov, but I can't afford it. Um, we might need this one. Hmm. Or this one. I'm gonna go for this one actually. More DPS. It's like a passive kind of thing. So I'm assuming if I use any formation with my units. They should deal bonus damage. That's pretty good. We need to protect this. Let's go back, Faramir. I think the best hero to be recruited now is going to be Denethor. Because now we have the two sands. We also need the daddy, of course. From him. Okay, nice. Now, my, I believe my tower should be kind of tanky against everything but the siege weapons. But this thing is so annoying. It just needs, like, a whole hour to destroy it. Where is Paragon? Paragon, I need you. Go to the well. Oh, here they come, boys. Here they come. It doubles the number of arches on the tower. Let's do this. Now we have the daddy on site. What is the daddy's? What is daddy able to do? Default stands with each attack. Then it summons two fo fountain guardians. To the target location that remain for 10 seconds in melee then it attacks with his sword enemies in medium range are attacked automatically then we have the clarion stone which is basically like a palantir to reveal some you know shrouds of the map and now we can oh my god they are coming hold on a second they are really coming to me i'm going to summon this here just for no reason <laughs> and he's sieging my castle now boys that's not cool and he's doing something all the time my, to my base, you know? This is a hero. Kill him. Destroy this thing, please. It's so tanky. This is a witch king? What a wild it is, okay? But what is attacking my base then? Look, he's summoning it again. That's so annoying. Stop it, bro. Stop it, man. Go get this one. 
Now I need to really save up money, man. I really need to save up money. I have like level 3 structures all over the place. Take this, destroy this one first. Yeah, the catapult, we gotta be taking it down as soon as possible. This catapult is so triggering. Denitor. The Deity of Farami and Boromir. Alright, let's take this one, reclaim this one. The catapult is trying to dodge me, but I think we should be able to outrun it, obviously. It would be a shame if we can't. Nice, now we can fight back. We can also use the Horn of Gondor to stun them. Kill them all. Sleep them all. Okay, nice. Now here, I want to go for the, for the, for the, for the, hmm, mm, let's go for this one. So why not? And now we have money for Gandalf, don't we? We do. Beautiful. Nice. Great. Did he really kill Faramir? I, I low-key think it was Denethor who killed him. Probably it's like a hidden ability or something that killed his own son. I'm pretty sure about this, actually. I want to go for the, for the border stronghold now for even more heroes. But if can have cooking, that's good. That's very good. Let's go for the border stronghold. Let's put these inside this tower. The max level in this game is level 5. You can't get higher levels than that one. And what I like to do is I like to recruit one ranger and eventually put him in right um, there. Maybe. It's like a fountain. The, it's also quite healthy, 6,000 HP. And Ganav is on the field. Nice. Only level 1 though, but it is what it is. We can creep this troll. We should be able to creep this troll here, I hope, with Boromir. I don't know how strong the troll here is in this game. But it seems pretty strong, actually. Maybe Beregon can do... Yeah, Beregon is dealing like with spear damage. I believe he's the one who's hurting him the most. Okay, so... My Beregon almost died to this. Alright, now we have the chance to recruit more heroes. We have here, uh, no, nah, never mind, that's a soldier. We can recruit Imrahil. And also, we can recruit Dolambrov soldiers and knights. Can I get level 2? Beautiful blast. So much trash on the ground. I like it. I really do like it. Can I, can I empower this or something? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please not, please not, please not. What is killing you, Gandalf? You were here, boys. Gandalf is getting bullied there. Okay. We are still not very rich, I think. Now we have also Imrahil. A unit sport. So victory is sh uh, shorn of gladness. And it's bitter bot. If both Gondor and Rohan are in one day... I don't even know what this English is, man. So much depends on you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is the architecture? Repair it. Use it. Come on, Gandalf. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Use it, Gandalf. Use it, Gandalf. Okay, it's time for upgrades. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. We didn't destroy it, really? How long we need to get mounted? Let's go for this one first. Gandalf, come on, this guy is just running to his own base, trying to beat me in there, you know? What can I happen, bro? I'm going to build a signal fire. I haven't built this one yet. Imrahil, you also joined the party? I mean, we could go for this one and this one, but I don't think it's very good. Right, let's go for one of these knights. I hope they are very good. We will find out, though. We will find out. Okay, you, my friend... Get one of these right here. Maybe put them right there. And now we have also get the off. I knew it. Hold on. Now maybe we can go for this one. Nah. Gondor Siege Engine is sent barrage, which I will I will go for this one for the siege. 
I think it's very important. Now we can demolish this structure. I, I believe. We don't need this anymore. Ganef is so slow on food. So slow on food. And here I want to go for the, for the Siege Vorex, actually. Right? Let's go for the Siege Vorex. That's very important. But he's coming from this location. Go in there, Rangers. Did we destroy it? Nice. Let's destroy this one too. And very soon we will be able to go handball. It's not worry, don't worry about it. Okay. So let's go for the Siege Vortex. Actually, we have so many. Anorian Siege Shield is a siege unit. The mobile Siege Shield offers protection from arrows, but it's easily destroyed as in close combat. Then you have the chance to go for the Battering Ram. Um, obviously, it's a run for the Trebuchet, and with level 3, you can also buy the Firestones on the Trebuchet to just increase their damage big time. And now these are the Swan Knights. I'm not sure if you are limited to one of them. Yeah, you are limited. It, now, we are also command points kept. That's the problem. Let's expand the storerooms one more time. Can we also do this here? No, we can't. But I'm pretty sure that you can only limit, uh, you are only limited to one of them. Because they are working like a hero, you can level them up all the way to level 10. And they have basically like Shattering Rush right off the bat. Okay, that's not bad. What is this? Into the battle. Prepare for this. For 30 seconds, they can't tr trample enemy units, but receive 50% attack damage and armor can be used during Shattering Rush. So this one is going to be there when you just want to stand still and fight. I believe it's good when it comes to destroy like those very tanky structures in the game, okay? Banner. Uh, we can't really buy fire arrows though because uh, we lost the archer range. That's the problem. That's the reason why we can't do this. But I don't think we need it. All we need are like really strong siege weapons. Can I get more of these? I can. They are not limited. Or they are probably limited to like three or something. Hmm, I can get at least three of them. That's good. And the second this one is going to hit level three, I will be able to buy the Firestone. They are coming from this location. You can even recruit... Hold on a second. Wait, what? That's kind of crazy. We can recruit Strider from this one. Aragorn. Strength, hero slaying. Lead the chieftain of the Dunedain to his fate as king of Gondor. If by my life or death I can protect you, I will. You have my sword. What a madman. I didn't know this, man. This is so versatile. Like, there is so much diversity built into this mod. So many, so many details that playing one game is not going to do anything. I might need to repair this. I'm going to build this tower here, actually. And I need to use, eventually, Gordia, uh, Gondorian architecture. There we go. To just save the structure. And my Aragorn is going to be there very soon. Okay, let's go for the Firestones. Get some traps. Um, we can expand it one more time, I believe. To have to 1,500. And now we have Aragorn, Strider. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So, Strider's abilities. Blade Master. He will get more damage and armor. Then he have the Ranger Cloak. As long as Strider doesn't move, he stays camouflaged. Then we have the King's Foil, which is like heal. Knife Throw. Obviously, self-explaining. And Aragorn. With level 4, Aragorn abandons the path of the Ranger in search of the righteous cause of his destiny. And that's amazing. What is killing him? You wanna fight? You wanna play rough? You wanna play rough, boy? I am Isi Lose Air. Fight against me and you will lose. More traps? Like I feel like our army is so weak. So weak. So much depends on you. But here there is a strong army coming. I don't know what is Pikeman, what's not. Oh, he's using the Felwind. It's like a charge attack, I believe. Charge in. I mean, they are melting my 
Nice dog. They are melting them hardcore, boy. They are melting them so incredibly hardcore. <laughs> Holy. Let's get more Firestone upgraded trebuchet. Um, um, let's go for these ones, maybe. I don't know. The knights felt underwhelming. But maybe they're all of them are pikes. I really, the vision, the things don't really tell me too much. And nice. Beautiful. One more. I think these are pikemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now the wizards is coming. Now what you gonna do, boy? What you gonna do now? Boom, chakalaka. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. And again, they summon this thing. Level seven, Paragon. I already forgot he was what he was able to do. I wanna go for the siege, actually. I mean, I told you to go back. Please go back. Oh, you can even give them upgrades. Okay. This is, I believe, that's like the stronger soldier. <clears throat> Excuse me? Okay. Beautiful. By the way, with 25 or the ultimate power points, you have the chance to go for the Rohan answers. Rohan stands by the people of Gondor in their greatest needs. Summons a rallying banner where the army of Rohan will appear. The more time Rohan has to prepare to, the more troops and heroes will come. And an awful field obviously summons the EOD, but I think we're gonna be going for this one, you know. I'm losing my voice by the way, completely it's gone. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening. Go, go, go! Some people give speed to these creatures. <clears throat> Come on. The recruit time is so low, though. Give it to me. Come on. Nice. They have also leadership, by the way. Nearby friendly infantry receives more damage. Doesn't apply on the other souls of Tolamrov, obviously. My place is here with my and now we have all the upgrades on them, too. And these are going to be our siege weapons. These are going to be our front line. And good luck, us, boys. Good luck, us. I believe with this many trebuchet, we should be able to destroy the structures in literally no time. But we will find out. Let's find out against the structure. I mean, that's like a very weak structure. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's raining fire, boys. It's raining against units. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. That's Engmar, by the way. Engmar structure. We need some front line. Boom, boom. We, we destroy these structures out of vision, by the way. It's not even able to see us. That's how the range is crazy of the traps. Here I want to go for... Um, let's go for them. Hmm. For a single fire. Keep him there, keep him there. Okay, will you come also with us? Here, down here. Okay, now we can't really produce many more units from the heroes. We only are missing. What is this? As long as it's in destroyed buildings, wall catapults in the pieces, and in the castle, gain 100% armor against each. Okay, that's that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Don't shoot. Ganalf, use your lightning sword. Do it. We should be able to win this fight, if I'm not mistaken. Aragorn, don't, don't, don't. Aragorn, heal, 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 heal. Nice. Oh, it's a very weak heal, though. But we can use this one. Stop shooting at me, boy. Gondor has, has no king. Gondor doesn't need a king. How long? How much damage against the wall? Not the greatest, but it's still okay. Let's go for the normal outpost here, so we can build a well and stuff. And maybe we need to bring some more siege weapons. Let's bring some more trebuchet against a camping guy. We can also pre uh, place the lone tower here and bring those units in to put into the lone tower. 
and just keep the distance for now break the parts of the wall let's go for i don't know hmm, let's go for well just for the for the recovery and maybe stone marker i don't know i want to see what it does though i have not built it yet before i want to see what it does this one we have already did the hero from it the only structure we never built actually when i think about it is um the stable i want to see what the stable is offering we have all upgrades i believe right there we all of, all of them let's go for the for the stable because we already went for the barracks and archer range and that's a stable if i'm not mistaken let me take a look just double check yes sir okay in the meantime we are shattering his p uh, base into pieces bam bam yeah, we don't need more catapults actually when i think about it we have enough and we can't really expand the storerooms anymore. So 1,500 is like the cap. You can't have more than that. I want to see what this does. We need vision first, man. Let's go for these. Doubles the numbers of towers in each wall tower. Increase the armor of walls and towers. And this one is going to be basically like a marketplace upgrade from BFME 1. And these are basically like the BFME 1 Stormworker upgrades. You come here, boy. Boom, boom. Oh, shoot at this thing. You want to shoot? You want to fight? Boom, boom. Uh, I really want to get this one, actually, if I can. I want to see this Rohan shall answer, you know? I think it's epic. Oh, yeah, we can... Okay, we can recruit also Faramir from the stable. Okay, that's good to know. Faramir deserves also to see the part of the victory screen. Especially when his daddy Denator is here. I still don't, don't understand what these can do, the heal throws. But there is a very... There is Gandalf. Gandalf. Gandalf is level 7. By the way, we've also enabled the ring heroes. Um, so, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see the ring hero yet. Can I heal this? No, you can't heal the trebuchet. trebuchet. But my Gandalf is level 8, man. Where is Aragorn at? Aragorn, you heal them whenever you want. Let's go for Aragorn, shall we? Wait, I want to I wanna see this. Oh, he destroyed all my catapults, actually, this guy. Hold on. Where is Aragorn at? Let's go on Aragorn, boys. Okay, that's the Strider. And when you click now on Aragorn... He also changes the model. Okay. Now he has a whole new set of abilities. Now he has the Unreal Flame of the West. He now carries the Undoing Sword. It's a passive effect that he will deal more damage. And actively, he will get more armor and more damage. So, raw damage power. Then you have the chance for the Atelas. Obviously, it's pretty known. A knife throw and Elendil. And now with level 7... He's gonna have another change. Not when we have strength left. For your people. Now he's becoming the Aragon the Air. So his abilities pretty much be are the same, but now he's able to get mounted too. And then with level 10, he will become the King LSR. So he can transform himself so many times, dude. That's kinda crazy. It's kinda crazy. I like it though. I really like it. Boom, chakalaka. Yo, I know you want to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what to do, right? We forgot about this one. Okay, we place him right here. And here, I believe from the description I understood, the longer you wait, the more time Rohan has to prepare, the more troops and heroes will come. So when you, you summon it and you insta-summon it, I think it's going to be quite weak. But on, on the other side, when you don't do this, it's going to be very strong. I hope. By the way, this guy is repairing his wall. Uh, that's not very really cool, man. 
I didn't see that coming, so I need to bring more traps <laughs> there. <laughs> when Gondor feeling pretty smooth, um, let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this mod, if you played this mod, and if you did, which one you prefer more, this mod or the Age of the Ring mod? This one is also pretty unique in many, many aspects, but in any way, in any case, just I believe both the teams have invested so much time into making this mod possible. It's kind of crazy. Like here, repairing the whole wall, that's cool. <laughs> it's kind of boring, I'm saying. But we will open the gate, or open the wall again. Hold on, I wanna, I, wanna see, I wanna see this. Brief resistance, Boromir uses his massive round shield and he f defies all enemies. He will get 75% armor and is immune to knockbacks. I mean, Boromir is actually like crazy abilities in this game though. So he's, he puts on this, uh, the, the, okay, now it makes sense. For Gondor, for the White City. Okay, let's go. You just fight there. They are only a summon. If they die, they die. Break the wall. Go inside the jeans. We can put a tower right here. Why not? This base is also looking pretty nice, by the way. From Engmar. The wall is so tanky. Let's spam more katas. Now, money is not a problem, as you can see and tell, in the Super Raid game. But especially when you play this multiplayer, I think the money eco management is so important in uh, the early mid game. Let's get this trebuchet where you can use it. I'm pretty sure that I didn't even focus everything yet, you know? Okay, boys, we are waiting. Hold on, I want... Oh, Gannot is level 10, actually. You know what time it is, boys. Go, Gandalf. Gandalf, the white. Oh, really? Oh, but I can still go in, okay. There are two builders here, for whatever reason. Boom, chakalaka. <laughs> I'll get away again, I'll get away. I mean, there was not much to kill, I'm being honest with you. But he's repairing all the time, man. Hold on. Oh, I summoned them? I think it's the... Okay, never mind. They have like a timer. You need to have them by the time. Q, E, click. Go, 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 go. Right now, right for ruining the red tone. All right, arise, arise, riders of Theodine. Spear shall be shaken. Are I gonna say using the LND? I'll do it. LND. <laughs> These guys are still repairing, by the way. The the, the wall. Stop it, bro. Gandalf, use everything you want, my friend. Use everything you want. You can only click on one ability. We have also this dude. I never checked this guy, by the way. Imrahil in the Souls of Dolomroth resist even the war swans in battle and fight without a break. For a short time, troops of Dolomroth near Imrahil will heal themselves with every attack. With level 10, here's the Atelin, Atelin Ground. A guard, I mean, sorry. Imrahil summons his Atelier guard from Dol Amrov to his side. His abilities will recharge 33% faster while near to the Atelier guard. If the guard is summoned while Imrahil is on foot, it's so complicated. It's oh my god, we have even Eowyn there. I am no man. That's kind of crazy ability too. Holy. Okay, hold on. We can also. The Great Company. Hmm, let's go for the Great Company special summon too, shall we? There is another hero. What is this? Eladan and Elrohir and Halbarat. Dude, there are so many heroes and stuff. Holy. Yes, an outpost there. So we are not victorious just yet. How much does the Citadel Castle cost? 5,000. Okay. 
Go on, my friend here. Can you put Pippin? Oh, that's a question I can't really answer yet. I want to I wanna see if you can put the heroes and the Pippin on Gandalf. If it's, if it's actually working in this mod, you know? Not sure. My, it, it's kind of a shame that we don't see Aragorn level 10 for his King LSR ability. But you can see the dedication is kind of next level. Like the amount of time you need to put in to make such a thing work is just, just something else, you know what I'm saying? It's just something else. Come on, Pippin, we need you. We need you, boy. I mean, we could also destroy this one, but I believe it's just like in BFM1, if you destroy the outpost camp or castle and all of them, uh, the settlements are not very important. This guy is Atelas. This guy has this one. Do not die in Banner Barrier. Barra. Why? Where is Pippin at? Do we have no command points for him? Uh, the answer is yeah, we have no command points for him. Okay. Screw you, Pippin. You have also units. Oh, never mind. Yeah, GG well played. Hard was actually pretty hard and challenging, especially for somebody who doesn't know. So it might be mind blowing if you get into this mod for the first time. So playing the first game against the AI, you know, I don't think you can discover everything about the faction you want to play with. So you need to eventually do this multiple times. It was a 48 minute game. Um, again, I think I've, I've already said this way, way back in the day when I was playing this mod the last time. I like this mod, this is very detailed, but I think it's very slow piece gameplay. Like, researching upgrades just takes, for my personal taste, a little bit too long time. And if you want to make this to a multiplayer thing, you need to kind of, you know, uh, make this um, a bit more fast paced. Anyways, GG well played. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a track. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.